we show models or pictures of the planets, we usually show all of the planets at the same time. But with the real planets, it's very hard to do because the real planets have a lot of space between them. No, I'm not kidding. I mean, a, a lot of space. A, a lot of space. space. A, a lot of space. No, I'm not kidding. I mean, a, a lot of space. A, a lot of space. Hey, that this balloon is the sun. It's a little over a meter across. And the planet Mercury would be here, 39 meters away. That's all there would be to the planet Mercury. Here, at 72 meters, that would be Venus. Now the sun's still behind us. And look, up here at 100 meters, our own Earth. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bill. Now we gotta get serious. Uh oh. There's Mars. And the distances start to get very large. Those planets, those models, are the actual size. Now the sun's still back there. Jupiter, 520 meters from the sun. That's over half a kilometer. Isn't that wild? The one with the big rings, 953 meters from the sun, almost a kilometer out, way out here. This would be Uranus, almost two kilometers from the sun. Everything is really far apart. There's a lot of space in space. Things are really far apart on this model. That's because everything's to scale. That's why we don't always make models like this to scale, because they're huge. <laughs> are we there yet? Three kilometers from our weather balloon sun. It's got to be around here someplace. Down here, Bill. Down here. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. Here's Pluto. From the sun, then our Earth. It's over six billion kilometers from the sun. Six Billion kilometers from the sun. Do you get it now? The distances between the real planets, the distances between the real planets in real outer space are huge.